Hey guys, my name is Jess. It is the 13th of December and it is the temperature of the sun in Sydney. So just in case it is indeed the apocalypse, I'm going to make sure you get your gaming news first. Let's do it. First up, here's all the expansions, updates and events you can enjoy from a few of your favourite games starting today. GTA Online's import-export expansion has now arrived, so gear up to steal cars and become even more of a badass criminal than what you already were in the future Adventures in Finance and Felony update. You'll also get a garage to store your 60 stolen cars and the more you nick, the closer you'll get to unlocking special missions. A new adversary mode called Turf Wars has also arrived where you compete to control tiles from your vehicle. Not a fan of the Grand Theft Auto? No worries, Overwatch's Christmas update is now live, so you can dig into winter themed loot boxes, grab new skins and try out an event specific brawl mode called May's Snowball Offensive, where six players of May all compete to take each other out with one shot snowball guns. Destiny's holiday event The Dawning is also out today for people who own the Rise of Iron expansion. And carrying through that winter theme, Forza Horizon 3's Blizzard Mountain expansion is now out. It may not be winter themed, but Battlefield 1's latest patch adds the game's first free DLC map, Giant's Shadow, as well as the grenade crossbow. Yes, that is a thing you need. Premium members get the new map today, while everyone else will have to wait until December 20. The update has also made balance changes for weapons and items, and introduced a spectator mode. For more details on any or all of these updates, check back to GameSpot. Ukulele, the spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie, now has a release date. Developer Platonic Games announced the game will launch on April 11, 2017, and that's the good news. The bad news is that the game is no longer coming to Wii U. Not to worry, because I have good news again. Along with PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Linux, Ukulele seems like it might also be coming to Nintendo Switch. The dev explained, Despite our best efforts and exploring every possible avenue, we've encountered unforeseen technical issues that unfortunately mean it will be impossible for us to release the game on Wii U, as initially planned. We're now working very closely with Nintendo to look to bring Ukulele to the upcoming Nintendo Switch. Finally, upcoming hack and slash game for Honor will require an always online internet connection. Ubisoft's community rep, UB Jurassic, confirmed the news in a forum post, saying, We can confirm that For Honor is an always online experience. Some elements of progression, which is hosted online, are shared across story and multiplayer modes. Players will need to be connected to the internet at all times to play For Honor. Ubisoft has since confirmed to GameSpot that the game will indeed require an internet connection. For Honor will arrive on PS4, Xbox One and PC on February 14 of 2017. So happy Valentine's Day, go forth and cut down your enemies with a broadsword or whatever. That is everything I've got for you today. Do remember that next Tuesday, December 20, we're counting down our top five games of the year live on GameSpot. So pop by for that and I'll see you again tomorrow.